Welcome to our mission in Vanuatu. The coming of the Society St. Pius X here in this very isolated place of the world is very providential. Some Australian faithful came with a priest to visit their relatives. My father's father, my grandfather, Thomas Stephen, is the first one to come here in our area in South Santo to, to start farming. All my family is in Australia. So I go and visit them and I stay with Rob at the time. I see the Catholic, so I learn the Catholic in the time. And when I come back, the priest visit me. First visit with Father Peping. Second trip, Father Tok. When Father Tok came here, we don't come here to Bunapisu. They come visit me, visit me at Araki. I live in Araki. First time that I meet the priest, uh, the, when I was schooling in Araki. Uh, at night, I came to have mass with them. And they asked me that, what church you come from? I said, a Catholic church. And they said, Okay, we want to visit your church. We visit to Ukoro church. And the time when we come across to visit Ukoro, the people here in Bunabisu, they saw the priest. And Chief One, it is his house here behind, saw a priest in Kasak and went to ask him, oh, could you visit my village? There was no priest for the last 10 years. Our priest was on holiday went to ask the local parish if he could visit his village and the local parish said yes, we don't have the time, we don't have the means, it is too far, it is too hot. So we came once, we came twice, the mission was not really established. When I arrived the first time in August 2013, there was a very old bamboo church and I came a few times in these conditions. Then a local priest came again to visit them and they asked me the following trip, Father, what should we do? You, you are coming, the local priest is coming. And I asked them, oh, what do you want? No, you know the tradition enough. You've seen the Latin Mass. You've seen what we are providing for you. If you want the local priest to come, then we will not come anymore. But if you want me to come, then we'll be able to come only twice a year and give you the support of the sacraments and the priests that you've seen for the last few years. And then in a very old bamboo uh, hut, very hot, one night, the old village crowded in, the chief stood up and said, Father, there is no questions. We all agree, we are traditional Catholic. And from that trip, then we decided to finish the church that was started, at least the roof, by some Australians, volunteers. And the work has been developing admirably since. It is our presence for our joy and for the great joy of the people in this village. We have two main goals. The first one is to provide the sacraments, the instruction, for the people here who are very eager to learn, to live a Catholic life. The second goal is to give an opportunity for young and old 
to come, spend some time, give of their skills to build, to nurse, to instruct these poor people here who are Catholics like they are. And no one has ever regretted to come here. My name is Daniel Yagen. I'm an incoming fifth year seminarian in Holy Cross. I come from the Philippines. That was where, where I, born, I was born. And then I, but my parish is in Singapore. I teach catechism. So my main difficulty here is, of course, the language. Uh, I don't speak French. I can understand French. So like this morning, uh, Caroline, she was, teach she was saying it in French and I speak in English. So most of the time, of course, I'm trying to understand what she's trying to say, whether she said it correctly or not. So that's one thing, the barrier, of course. I mean, in, in, the, in most mission areas, that's, that's the main thing. But at least here, um, some of the people, some of the children understand English. So it's kind of not a heavy burden. Je m'appelle Caroline Vergès. Je suis infirmière en France. Je viens de France, du sud-ouest de la France, le Béarn et le Pays Basque. My name is Claire. I'm from France. Um, I'm 26 years old. It's the sixth time that I'm, I'm going to a mission. I'm a nurse and I'm here to help people. Um, I came here first to help father in the catechism class, then for medical support. So we brought some material and we had some medicine. Uh, we, we tried to help them as much as possible and to give some medicine if needed. My name is Isabel, I'm 26. I'm currently living in New Zealand. I'm from Belgium. But Bacchus wanted me for the catechism uh, of the kids, but also playing. So we, uh, we organized with the other girls, we organized many games for the kids, many activities. Um, so it was very nice to can just enjoy with the small kids, very sim simply as well, and to can have a lot of fun. We have some fun events like we play, Sometimes they can, we can play in the plantation. Children love to play with, uh, with uh, friends. I'm from South Africa, Cape Town. I uh, have a building and architectural background. This is uh, my second trip to Vanuatu. On this mission uh, for 2018, it's been to help and project manage the church hall, which is not only going to be a church hall, but also a community center. Uh, I'm sure it'll be used in the near future for the start of a kindergarten school, as well as um, large meetings, as it is fairly large. It's the biggest structure apart from the church, St. Raphael's. It's 160 square meters. Um, and the, it was an incentive to, to start the hall and the local villages will complete the flooring and walling with bamboo panelling. Local men of the village as well as surrounding villages have been very helpful. We had up to 50 men working on one particular day, all keen to learn new skills. And I'm very grateful that I've been able to come out and that the society has been able to provide them with this structure. My name's Eric Hardis. I'm from Queensland, Australia. Uh, I am 58 years of age and I'm an electrical contractor. I chose to take part in a mission uh, workforce in Vanuatu to help with the installation of a solar system on the church. I've got a lot of experience in that area so that's why I put my hand up. Uh, it's a very simple system, it's basically just for lighting of the church so that they can use the church in the evening for their devotions. The, the system that Father uh, designed. Uh, basically we've got uh, church lighting uh, which consists of about 15 lights and a couple of floodlights on the altar and a couple of floodlights at the front of the church. Once we put those up we then install the solar panels on the roof. We have two 250 watt solar panels. They're feeding down into a distribution board supported by two solar uh, batteries and we finished the installation and had ev everything up and running by the end of two days and that happened to be on the feast of Candlemas. And the father in his sermon that evening said it was very uh, symbolic that we had the system up and running by that date. Well, my name is Jessica Pope, I'm 30 years old and I'm from the heart of America in St. Mary's, Kansas. 
My role in this particular mission is, is several fold. So first it was to, uh, to collect donations. So one is this MI corner here. It's the, the banner. Um, we also, I also collected cassocks and surpluses because they needed those here in the missions. First communion, baptismal, and wedding dresses as well. The other jobs that I had here were some of the documentary aspects, so some of the videography, photography, and also helping out with catechism classes and any other role that Father needed me to fill in for. When we left the Vunapizu village to go to other places, we had first to be introduced by the chief of the village. Uh, so Father came first and we have to say hello and there is a little ceremony. They give flowers or just they do a talk and but once we are introduced, we could give some care if needed. People are very shy, so we need to, to talk with them and to, I don't know, yes, to get their confidence. After, after a while they came and they were in, in confidence and so they asked us for what they need and we tried with the little things we had to, to help them. We visited some schools and we had the opportunity to talk to them, to be in class with them and to, to teach about a bit about our countries of origin and also about my culture because originally uh, I'm Aramaic so I still speak and pray uh, in Aramaic which was the language of Jesus so it was very interesting for me to to just explain them where do I come from, where do my family come from and, uh, and just to teach them, to try to teach them the Lord's Prayer in Aramaic. Parce que je, je vois vous qui on va parler ensemble et on joue ensemble. Et tu es contente que le Père Louis vienne Oui. Pour avoir la messe Oui. I would like to give a special thanks to all our benefactors, without whom we would never been able to come travel as far as Vunapisu to build a church, to provide a light. But we need to remember when we establish a mission like this, that we don't come with some means from outside and just provide everything for the locals. This is the reason why we have built the roof of the church, but the, the locals and all the people from the village had to do the bricks and they did one by one to do the walls of the church. Now we have installed some solar panels but they have promised to bring half of the cost of the installation. It's most of people work for copra for and money. Copra, yeah, me copra, coconut. Coconut, me will like, me will like go, cut them, me will like stick him, like stick him in his, cut them, put them in the After smoke them, eat them, me will like ram them, ram them in his, me will like put them in the park, cut them, track cut them, go back to the town, to Luganville. Uh, Salem. There is still a little bit of money to come for them to cover that half, but it shows them that it is their church, their mission, their project and not only some foreign people who come and give them things for free. But without the help of the benefactors we will even not be able to be here and to help them to accomplish this project that they can do with us. Some seed only fall down on God. Now, beyond all man, only stop to humbu, long or get up, more all stitching. Vanuatu picnic.
I love Father Louis to come here because he's very kind. Would you like him to come more often? Yes. Yeah.